Hello, I'm Anime Vashi 1. And I'm Sparkling Rose 17. And we're here today to talk to you about cosplaying and conventions. Exciting, yes. huh? Yeah. It's really fun. It is. So anyone who says it's not, they're lying. Or they're just bums. <laughs> yes, <laughs> big thumbs down to those people. Anyway. So, we have a bunch of tips that we learned at our first convention, which was this year, 2011. Santa Maritime Moncton. Yeah. Yes, we're Canadian. Woo. All Canadians are awesome. Don't listen to Italia. Everyone knows Canada does exist. <laughs> yes, we are here. Yes. And you're watching Canadians. We are very cool Canadians. Anyway, we're not here to talk about <laughs> Canada. We should, though. Another video, man. Okay, video. I'm not a man. <laughs> it's a figure of speech. Anyway, <laughs> so we have some great tips now that... We learned from everyone that was there and like all the sessions. So we're going to call this as the first session we attended, Cosplay 101. <laughs> that was like 102, but, <laughs> 102. <laughs> but it's 101. Only one. Oh, <laughs> me! No! <laughs> Don't poke me in the eye. You already poked me in the eye. Good times. Anyway, so first thing we're going to touch up on is, you know, like cost. So, if you don't live in the area where the convention's happening, I mean, it can be pretty expensive, but in the end, it's all worth it. Although, like, yeah, just take in mind that if you don't have a job like me do, we're not old enough to get jobs, be wary about your parents, because my mom, I don't think she wants to take me to another convention after how much money she spent. <laughs> I mean, like, um, you gotta take into consideration, there's the cost of where you stay if you're staying outside your region. And then there's, you know, like, your costume, obviously. Even if you make it, it still does cost money. Yes. And, you know, and most people don't take into consideration is the drive there or however you're getting yourself there because that does cost money whether you go by plane, train, bus, car, because, car, like, gas and everything, you know. So that can be quite costly. And, Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing is your look. Yes. So look, you want to try to look almost exactly, almost exactly like your character I don't as much as like, humanly possible. Yeah. Don't if they carry like this ginormous sword, don't bring in a real sword. You're not allowed to bring them in. You will get kicked out or asked to put that back in your room or, or wherever even you're arrest, staying. Or even arrested because they yes. thought my fake knife made out of cardboard was real, and they said. Do not show that to the police, or you might get arrested. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, um, honestly, I don't think there's a lot of people running around. Hey, police, look, I have a knife. Where was if they you are, that? um, you should get your head checked, because, you know, that that's not good. Beyond birthday. No offense, no offense, like, totally. If you're homicidal, yeah. just go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Homicidal's bad. You ever go to a hospital or just get away from... I'm doing awesome hand things. Yes, we get distracted very easily. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, right. Oh, yes. Oh, back to the point. So, like, first of all, hair. Okay, so I won a Songo this year for my first year, and clearly I didn't really have to buy a wig because I have the same color hair and it's easy to get my hair up. And yes, my hair right now looks kind of bad because I just got out of the pool. Anyway, so it's not like... When you get, ugh, sorry. When you go to a um, convention, you want to have the right hair. Like, I'm not just gonna show up a Songo with Jackie hair. I have to show up a Songo with Songo hair. And I was Flippy from Happy Tree Friends human form. Make note if you go on my channel, you'll see that I absolutely hate Happy Tree Friends. Oh, if you go on her <laughs> channel, you'll see all of us. Well, there's. Me, her, and another person who is also on YouTube who has some pretty cool anime vi video. Ugh. Crazy Devil Can Tell. Yeah. Now, as for Flippy, my hair is obviously not green. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Unfortunately. No. I'm not allowed to have a green hair. And I don't even want green hair. So I had to get a no. wig and, um, try to make sure that the wig looks almost like the characters or exact. But... If you go to like sites where they they style them, they don't always work out well. They don't eBay is awesome. Like, eBay ways. is like awesome because it's, it's really cheap. cheap. 
And like usually it's not like somebody just took it off their head and said, you know, I'm going to sell this on eBay. It's a lot of times stores that... They're like eBay stores who are... Yeah, yeah. it's not like somebody just popped it off their head and decided to sell it because that would be kind of unsanitary. I found a cop's play that was all made and used on there. Well, yeah, but it's different than putting somebody else's wig and wig cap on. Yeah. Anyway, like... eBay can save you a lot of money with shipping and everything because wigs can be really costly. But eBay shipping can be costly too, depending where you live. Yeah. But sometimes it's cheaper just to go to a costume store, which there aren't really a lot around here, so we did have to order ours. Well, they did, because I just yeah. have a wig. You made your, your full costume out of, like, old clothing that you had around. It was actually pretty cool. I know, like, Value Village and... Value Village is awesome if you try to be flippy. Fabricville <laughs> is key along with Value Village, because... I mean, ordering a costume can be very expensive, and it can be cheaper just to go and make it yourself, and it's a pretty fun process, actually, and it turns out really well. Now, if you don't have any sewing experience, I'm sure you might know you someone might, who does, yes. or you can get someone to help you. I have very minimal sewing experience, so I'll probably get my mom Well, help. picture this song with the big boomerang. That was me and my buddy. You hit me in the eye! Sorry about that. <laughs> we had a big, like, foam square, cube, whatever you call it, rectangle. And we made it into a boomerang in about two hours. They painted it. Yeah, I painted it all. That took forever. <laughs> make sure you don't go and just expect to, like, make your costume there or anything. Because, you know, you're not going to have time. So, also, um, what else should we add? Oh, wait, wait, on that note, if you're going somewhere such as, well, we went to Moncton, it would have been cool to do all those, like, you know, Crystal Palace and all that, if anyone from Canada knows what we're talking about, and <laughs> other parts of the world, too, if you've been there, but a lot of people might not. It's, like, this big park and everything. Make sure there. you stay an extra day if you're going, because ours was three days. Yes, that so, was our limit. My mom wasn't spending any more time. Yeah, and that would have been costly. But if you want to do that, I advise either not going to the last day or skipping a day, did you do all that kind of stuff or staying an extra day? Because you will not have either time. either skipping the first or last day because middle day, like second. Middle day was awesome. It's always like the best day because there's more stuff going on and more people around to show off your awesome costume. You, need. you work so hard on. Yeah. Anyway, so with cosplay, you want to be pretty exact, but you don't have to be completely perfect. I mean, you don't have to have it down to the shoes. Shoes can be a little bit different. Although sho having the shoes... You can complete your outfit. If you if you go in flip flops and they have like knee high boots on, then that will completely ruin it. But you don't have to have the last little jewel thing on the ring that they wear in one episode. But for you it's pretty awesome to have like that ring that they wear for two seconds in one episode. So yeah. Now shoes also has like the comfort value. If you're wearing like six inch high heels like your character does or something, like Alice from Resident Evil yeah. movies, not the games. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you do not, if <laughs> you find them insanely inc uncomfortable, do not wear them the whole day, for as you would start hating bow shoes and want to biff them across the floor. <laughs> as I wanted to do with my flippy boots on like the second day because my feet were <laughs> killing. What are you wearing? Well, you're wearing. You, yours didn't have a heel. Anyways. Actually, they did. But <laughs> well, yours are shorter than mine. Anyways, hey, you were calling me short. I'm like, eh. Well, you are shorter than me. Not the point. Thank oh. you. Thank you for announcing <laughs> that to the world. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, um, so moving on from the look, people at the conventions. One second. Take they will want to. Yeah. <laughs> they will want to take your picture if you have a good cost play on, so don't just ignore them and just walk away like, screw you guys. I mean, if you don't want your picture taken, you can kindly say, um, I'm not in the mood, in the mood or, or something. Or I'm busy. Like. But honestly, a lot of people, they just want to remember. It's not like they're just going to write your name all over everything and then post it up on Facebook or anything. Because you're probably never going to see these people again. You might honestly. find yourself on YouTube or Debian Art where... They, you know, for DeviantArt, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I think you're right, but... Anyway, so, yeah, a lot of people ask for hugs, too, because, like... I got one person who asked my hug. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple, too. 
So anyway, moving on. Fender rims. Um, don't expect everything there to be dirt cheap because it their prices are raised through the roof. I got a Kaido plushie. It was like maybe um that, that big. big. Fifteen bucks. He fits on my mirror. Her brother got this little mushroom, like you know, from Super Mario yeah. Brothers. Okay, yeah. about that big around and about that tall. Not that tall. Well, not that tall. Um, it like looked that, that tall. Yeah. How much was it? It was like 15 something. He wanted like a stuffed pig that was like 30 you know. Yeah, like that's crazy. My and, mom I mean, you can bargain it. with some of the people who are doing... It's better drawing. on the last day to buy stuff because everybody's like, I need to get rid of this stuff. Yeah, but... I'm going to go on sale. A lot of vendor rooms, they have these people there that draw pictures and... Well, that's the artist alley. Yes. Yeah. Dan Maritime had them combined this year. Yeah. So if you want their picture drawn, drawn like by them and you want... Something particular, I suggest getting it the second day or the second last day, like ordering it then. Mm -hmm. Because, like, if you do it the last day, you have the chance of them not being able to finish it and yeah. then, you know, bad stuff. They made a picture for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something like that. But some of the um, vendor people there are very hard to bargain with. Then. As we found with some people from Ontario who came. My friend wanted like this Kakashi poster for like last twenty dollars. It was like the last day. She had, didn't have enough money, so she was asking for twelve. They said that's too low. Even though oh, um, sort of we should cheap. probably sign off because we're Wait. gonna we're gonna continue with this on okay. another video because we are out of time. Yes. So till our next video, which should be just below this one. Later, anime freaks, just like us. And remember, anime people are cool. Italia. <laughs> Sorry.